Thanks for tuning in. I'm Ned Ned Nerp, the schizophrenic. This is day 38 of 100 symptoms when anxiety makes the mind go blank. When many people hear the phrase AWOL, it might bring up the image of a fighter pilot who has lost control and is now firing at bogeys as well as friendlies. AWOL stands for absent without leave. To go AWOL basically means a person lost awareness, is absent, but their behavior continues in some way without leave. To have an AWOL moment on the ground is much less shocking than being in a fighter jet. Sometimes when stress hits a certain way or the thoughts go to a certain place, there is a freezing up. Maybe having a conversation, one person is talking and the other person noticeably and suddenly goes absent. It's like their mind goes blank. Sometimes they say yes or no to simple questions, even if really it is clear the person is not aware of the interaction for a period until returning. I've heard a person say, oh, sorry, I totally gapped out for a second. I'm back now. This phenomenon relates to other dissociative symptoms like fugue, where a person blacks out but continues acting out behavior sometimes overlapping and compounded by use of substances, or otherwise where in the experience there is a suppression of conscious awareness of emotions, thoughts, or the immediate environment. I have the following interpretation to offer. I've noticed this AWOL moment happen more frequently when there is indeed some kind of psychological stress in the thoughts and emotions due to serious conversation causing the self to back out or black out. It is perhaps a safety mechanism of the brain to pull the self out of harm's way and out of the way of otherwise unconscionable perspective and experience. That makes sense why people with traumatic experiences can exhibit dissociative symptoms. When I have suffered from an acute psychotic episode, I think I have had these blank out moments in the psych ward accompanied by either staring off in the distance or experiencing having thoughts and emotions overwhelm me, and I notice it's hard to keep aware of my environment, like I am losing myself in some moments. Sometimes this probably looks like a catatonic state. Out of hospital, sometimes at home when I am thinking and meditating, I notice my mind go blank when stressful subjects are on my mind. Or I notice those subjects cause me to blank out visually. By that I mean I'll notice suddenly a sticky thought shift and it's like I wasn't in the room for a second, but now I can see my surroundings again. As stress can vary, there seems to be differences in the extent and depth of this freezing up due to anxiety. If this has been interesting to you, please like and comment below. If you share this video, you will help me reach a wider audience, contributing to raising awareness. Help me to reduce the stigma around mental illness and suffering caused by schizophrenia and psychotic disorders. This has been Ned Ned Nerb, the Schizophrenic, with Day 38 of 100 Symptoms. Until next time.